Okay. Right, we've started recording, so if we could just have a little go around the room. For people who were presenting today, if you could just say hi and say which company you're from, um, and then we'll sort of take it in turns to, to show off what we're doing. Hey, we've got iPad for that. I know who that is. I bet that is. That's Chris, I bet, isn't it? That's Chris. Is that Chris? Hello, iPad 4. I don't know who you are. I'm from Optivus. Okay, I'm not going to be able to spell that. I don't know whether you can rename yourself. <laughs> what, are you, what are you known as to your friends? My name is Chris Bell. Chris, you are Chris. Okay. So I'm going to, just so everyone knows what we're on about, we're Optimus, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so Chris Dell's joining us. Oh, I had my caps on. Useless. Okay. Um, Oi, oh, yeah. we haven't got Helen here this afternoon. She actually kick-started this. Um, Helen Fincham had an article uh, that was on BBC News um, about the lack of accessible clothing. I don't know whether you saw that. Um, and... Got a couple more people joining us here. Diva. Um, so she was on BBC News saying about how difficult it was to actually find fashionable clothing that fit properly um, and didn't get tangled up near the wheels and all the rest of it. Um, and I said to Helen, well, you know, should we do a cafe on this? Would you like to come and join us? Said yes, so no doubt she'll pop in and say hi to us at some point. Um, but uh, it sort of kick started this, and I thought, well, let's get a few people in from different companies, and then you know, we can ask some questions, they can show us their wares, as it were, um, and we can give them some feedback as well about the sort of things that we'd like. Um, I don't know, is there anyone in particular who'd like to kick off? Oh yeah, would you like to kick off with Bombini Tribe? Is that all right? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, definitely. Um, hi, everybody. Um, my name is Oye for short. Um, I've been called several different kind of names, but we'll stick to Oye today. Um, I'm representing a very good friend of mine um, called Gaz, Gaz Gold, and he owns Bombini Tribe. Um, I get all my... Um, casual jogging pants from, from, from Bombini Tribe. And I've never looked back ever since. I've been buying from him now for over a year now, uh, just about a year now. Um, but before that, I used to buy from Germany, Roly Modern. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just here to represent a friend and talk about how I've found um, all the things I've bought from him in the past. Okay, would you... Are you happy to show us some of the sort of yes, products on Bombini Tribe? Day? Yes, yes. I've got one of the jogging pants here with me. Um, um, and I've got one, I've got a black one on myself. Um, and one of the reasons why I tend to favor and like this better is to start off with, it's got a very, very high, well, it's got a high back because I'm sat all the time. So it's got a high back. Um, so basically, my, it's not dropping because I'm sat all the time. Um, one of the benefits I find as well is regarding the waistband. It's about, I would say about two inches um, wide. And the, the string, the, the rope is actually in the middle. So it's not compared to what I'm used to. The rope used to be at the very, very top of, of the trousers. Hence, it was so uncomfortable and you were having to drag it up all the time. But the, the, the waistband of this is elasticated, so it fits around your waist or even higher up your stomach. And then the rope is actually in the middle. So I, I find that quite, quite comfortable. Now, inside the trouser, because I'm also sat all the time as well, um, I don't know if you can see that quite clearly, but the where it's been stitched together, there's hardly any material there at all in the middle. So because I'm sat all the time every day, it's not uncomfortable whatsoever. There's hardly anything there, um, you know, so I don't have any source from, you know, extended um, sort of like materials inside, inside the trouser as well. And towards the ankle, um, towards the far 
bottom of the of the leg of the trouser um, he's also got like an elasticated end there um, and he's also got um, like a zip as well now all the zips have got like a ring on it um, my left arm is my strong arm i haven't got good grip on there as well at all so i just tend to stick my finger in the ring and just pull it down basically like that so uh, it's so it's just so easy really whatever length you want to have the um zip on if at all you don't want the zip at all for comfort or whatever uh, it's quite easy to take off and the zip cannot catch at all because it's actually being sewed inward so when you put the zip back on you can hardly, hardly see it at all. So you can hardly see the zip at all where, where, where it is. But there's a ring at the end and you can have it as far down or as high up as you want. Um, and also I think it's, they're trying to, Bombini tribe is trying to make it as trendy as possible in terms of, you know, they try to color coordinate it. This is like a, sort of like a grayish creamy trouser, but it's got like a black stripe on both sides of the leg. So, um, and it's quite really good soft material. Um, and, you know, I, I sweat because I'm sat all the time as well. I, I tend to sweat a lot, but this actually helps with, the, with my circulation and my breathing when I'm sat down on, on my electric wheelchair as well. So I, I, all the pockets as well, they've all got rings. Um, and the pocket is not like the usual straight pocket. It's got like a slant to it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so it's just so easy to put your slide, your phone in, you know, and it's, it's really, really comfortable. Um, so yeah. And it's also got, um, the, the little clip things on the, on the string there as well. So, um, I know Bombini tribes do, they do hoodies as well as, um, vest and V-necks, um, but I've not bought any of that at all, but all my jogging pants are from, from Bombini tribes and definitely I would recommend them. So yeah, that's it from me. <laughs> okay, that's smashing the, the web link there. As the, as the companies, as we discussed the companies, I'll pop the web links into the chat. Uh, if you wanna save those into your favorites, maybe and have a little look at them later on. Um, alternatively. Do we, Do we get an opportunity to ask any questions? Yes. Yeah, of course. When do we get this opportunity? You have, have you got any specific questions about Bombini Tribe right now? Well, yeah. I just wanted yeah. to know, um, why is there a need for pockets on the tracksuit? Because as we know, we have to be very careful about our skin. And therefore, can't we put in things in our pockets? So why is there a need for it? Yeah. I mean, for me personally, I, I, the, the, the jogging pants I wear, I use it at the gym. You know, so what I tend to do is in the pocket, I put my mobile phone in there because that's the only place I can put it at all. But the pocket is not actually on the side. It, in effect, it's actually on top of my lap, realistically. So it's not on the side at all. So it's actually on my, on, on, on my fore lap, basically. And I just slide my phone in it and I just connect my, um, my headphone. You know, so um, it, it's, it's a very, very soft and durable material. Um, I suppose everybody's different and we, we all have different needs, but I've got a full sensation on my legs. So, you know, I, I would feel if it's uncomfortable and things like that, but realistically, that's all I use mine for. I don't put my wallet or my money in my, in, in my pocket at all. I only use it when I go to the gym. I go to the gym a lot and I play table tennis as well. So when I've got my headphones on, that's the only place I put my, my mobile phone to listen to my music. Okay. okay. Um, Chris, please, could you just clarify for me? Um, this session is about um, businesses telling us about what they have, you know, that we can purchase. But it's also about people saying what they'd like to see. Okay. And issues with people being able to get things. I mean, Helen's right. issue was with not being able to buy things in the high street. The reason I asked the question is, I remember when I first had my injury, one of the, there was a, a phrase that they used to use, death by tracksuit. <laughs> because I tend to think that what, because a person has now become a wheelchair user, you're automatically going to be living in tracksuit for the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> and that's I do. Yeah. I'm afraid <laughs> I do. I only, get track, I only, I only use tracksuit bottoms. I, c I can't get any very well that fit me anymore because uh, they've all gone to the skinny legs, which the 
uh, this company only does skinny legs. They really tighten your legs, so there's actually no room for your leg bag anyway. <laughs> okay. Your well, roller tags. We'll we'll come to that in a moment. Dan, would you like to go next and tell us a bit about Able to Wear? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So um, Able to Wear as a as a company has been around around uh, twenty five years. Um, produces wheelchair and adaptive clothing for for men and women. Um, as we were discussing yesterday, it's all about getting the clothes to, to fit properly, um, you know, make, making sure that they, they've got the, um, the longer legs there, uh, the easy to manage, comfortable to, to wear, um, promoting independence for the, for the wearer, but also those who have carers as well, who can um, help out with the trousers, getting them on and off there. Um, but for us, it's, it's all about raising awareness of able to wear. And once people find, find us, they tend to say, uh, you know, what what uh, life changing uh, we've we've had with uh, you know, impacts on them, so yeah, it's just it's just creating general awareness of able to wear and, and what we can do for them. Uh, what I wanted to do was be able to share the screen and just kind of highlight a few of our product range, if that's if that's okay. Um, am, I, am I able to do this now? Chris, you're muted at the moment. I am used to so no. Um, yeah, the switch off mute. I've made you co host, so it should come up at the bottom of the screen for you, Dan. Okay, just a second. Okay, yeah, so. So what I wanted to do here was just kind of show uh, some of our features of our, of our wheelchair trousers there. So um, they, they, they all have the higher backs and the, and the lower fronts there. So when people are sat down, they, they don't have a, a gaping back there, not nice and straight there. Um, th these ones uh, we're looking at at the moment, the drop fronts, they, um, they have a, a drop front opening where, where they can open it completely in the front to allow easy access, but also are easier to get on and, and um, help both the wearer and, and uh, the carer if, if applicable there. They've also got a, a dart in the seat, so they're shaped for seating, so just making them more, more comfortable there. And also um, with the flat... Sorry, flat can, I, can I just butt in? I can't see your, your screen. At the moment, can, I, can anyone see Dan's screen? Yeah, I can see it. it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's me. Then it's probably the doing my setup. Sorry, Dan. Go ahead. Yeah, and then just uh, just saying about the flat seam. So so the the trousers are shaped for seating there. So they've got a, a dart there, um, and also with the yeah the flat seam. So they're the more more comfortable and, and helping with uh, well reducing any, any sores there. Uh, and then finally just. Looking at um, that they have a, a longer leg, so when when seated there, they they fit properly there. Um, I just wanted to touch briefly on. I mean, they're available as, as hopefully you can see on screen in in a range of different colours and fabrics. So um, if I just look at the the jersey drop, for instance, as an example, just to to illustrate for you. Um, it, this is an example of a, of our drop front trousers here in in. The, in the grey, so hopefully you can see that the, where the, where they uh, where they come down to allow easy access, and they've got the Velcro fastening uh, there to to uh, yeah just to be able to e easily open and close there, uh, and then it also shows how they how they can be worn when seated, but also when, when they're fastened there to look like a normal pair of of trousers. Um, just moving on as well, looking at the the, uh, we've got a similar similar range, but with elasticated waist. So those who don't require drop fronts, um, just a standard elasticated waist uh, trousers there. So again, same kind of features with the with the high backs there and the flat seams and everything. Um, in this instance, looking at the the range of uh, jogging bottoms or, or cords or chinos we've got, um, and then we can also offer. Sorry, my screen's just catching up there. Um, 
Oh, I think you've got some connection there. So the other thing I was going to say was. Ready, baby. I need to pick her up. What time? I don't know. She didn't listen. Okay. Can you still hear me? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. What I was going to say was the we also offer zip front trousers, which um, which are more formal trousers. So uh, they they may be available as, as cords and and a, a smarter polyviscous fabric. Um, just a couple of instances there. Um, we also offer a tailor tailor made uh, service. So it, it's it's our core product range that are available in uh, what well, we can make a bespoke sizes to whatever is required. So. Our standard range are available in a range of uh, standard off the shelf waist sizes and, and leg lengths. But if people require something different, then we can offer a tailor made bespoke service. Um, and then the final thing I just wanted to touch on was uh, the waterproof. So we offer a, a range of lined and non, non lined waterproofs. Um, so that may be things like uh, one of our best sellers is the back fastening wheelchair jacket. Um, so it looks like a normal jacket from the front, but essentially is, is split in two uh, and it can be accessed from, from the back there. Um, and again, one of our uh, best selling non-line versions is, is the full length cover uh, demonstrated here. So uh, it's available in, in two colors. You've got the purple and the navy, and it, uh, it's a full length cover to protect, to protect the wearer. Um, it, you know, it may be if someone goes, um, goes out and, and caught in a rain shower that, that you can have this carried with you and, and be able to to put this on um, so yeah that, that's uh, that's what I wanted to share with you and uh, you know, our, our website you can see for more information it's uh, able to wear uk there any questions there for Dan yes on me hi Diana um well, yes, yeah, so one or, one or two things. First, I should say that I've been buying things from Able to Wear for many years, um, particularly the waterproof. Um, but I think I may have already been in contact with Dan a while back um, about the sizes of the trousers. I'm interested to hear about your tailor-made thing. Um, but I was absolutely staggered that your smallest trouser waist size was 32. Um, I mean, I've got a power tummy from 40 years of, of being a, um, a wheelchair user, but my waist is 28. Um, and, you know, I was, although I have bought one or two pairs of trousers, they're just huge, the smallest size. Um, and I never, ever wear them anywhere other than, you know, where, where as it were, I could be seen. Um, and... Um, so I, I'm surprised at that. Um, my solution has made them myself, um, but I would much rather not have to do do that or, or buy something and chop it down. Um, yeah, I mean, that's interesting to hear. We're, we're, we're looking at our range all the time, whether it's new products or size and things like that. But that is interesting to hear, and yeah, you know, certainly, uh, yeah, make a note of that. See whether we can introduce a. Uh, a smaller range there, yeah. yeah. Um, yes, and, and I, um, I mean, I'm sure you must have, well, I do, because I've still got some. You had some cords years and years ago that were smaller. Um, and um, so I, I think that must have been a decision, you know, later on. Um, okay. But um, I mean, the other, the other thing is that um, I, I say I have, have bought cords, but, but s smarter trousers would be nice as well, um, because you know, one doesn't all, always want to wear. Well, she, she knows I associate more with men, um, but, um, okay. but it's chief, chiefly going small enough. That's my message for you today. Sure. No, thank you. Thank you for your feedback. Yeah. Can I ask a question, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. What's the difference between adaptive clothing and wheelchair clothing? And I have an issue with the word wheelchair clothing because wheelchairs can't wear clothes. Okay. Yeah. It's, 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 it's good. So, I mean, we tend to categorize wheelchair clothing for, for well, 
people specifically uh, in wheelchairs, whereas adaptive clothing um, may, may be for uh, people who, who have d uh, difficulty managing zips and fastenings and things like that. But um, yeah, I, I take your point in terms of the terminology wheelchair clothing, the fact that wheelchair can't wear clothes there, yeah. It's quite, it's quite difficult, that one, because actually if you're trying to run a business and uh, get people to find your products from Google searching, uh, there is the issue of how, how do you do it? So, so, so your, your point is, you know, is, is absolutely valid, um, but, it doesn't, but, but it, doesn't, it doesn't get around the how, how do people going to, uh, you know, what search terms are people are, are using? And very often in, in businesses, online businesses that I've set up, um it's sort of going about things back to front but but you know i'll, I'll get a I'll, I'll do a search on what terms people are using and then in order to get people to find the business uh, i'll use those terms so so they're not always the they're not always the terms i would i would like um but i'll try and cover all terms in in a in a website it's unfortunately it's the way that uh, internet search works and, and I, I take your point it's just a really hard one to solve when I look for and I never ever purchase any what is considered clothes for wheelchair users um, I usually would put in clothes for wheelchair users absolutely and, and that's and that's that's absolutely that's right and and in terms of what terms are used and the number of people like you're you're being very specific on 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 your search terms and would that more people were as specific as you that would be very helpful yeah. and why why the any kind of uh, clothing for wheelchair users are so expensive oh i'm looking forward to answering this one <laughs> when my turn comes let's give me let's, that question come on give me that question can I? Can we move on to Sam actually? Because we, Dan, you were talking about waterproofs yeah. just now, so it'd be great to Sam if you can unmute. Yeah. Okay. So, um, hello everyone. I'm Sam Neil. I am the founder of Fast Fit Clothing. Um, Fast Fit Clothing is a waterproof clothing business. Um, we are just selling trousers for wheelchair users um, that are waterproof that can be kept in your bag. Um, they are basically, imagine like a, a rain mac or something that you would keep in your uh, backpack if you're out hiking or uh, going anywhere, but this is more specifically for wheelchair users. So say if I wanted to go to the shops today and the shops were 15 minutes away from where I live and I'm tra traveling in my wheelchair, um, but I look out the window and it's nice and sunny and it's typical in Britain. You can look out the window one minute and then the next minute it's completely different and you're caught out in the middle of a storm, etc. cetera. Um, so this came about from my own personal experiences of getting caught out in the rain, basically. Um, and what they are is trousers that will be able to fit over your existing clothing um, and they can be fitted on whilst you're still sat in your chair. So you haven't actually got to get out of your chair at all. Um, they keep your legs covered and they fasten around the back of your waist using a Velcro fastener. Um, there's no metal clips, zips or anything to prevent pressure sores. Um, so they, yeah, they can be fitted under in under two minutes if you're caught out in the rain um, and be taken off just as easily or even quicker. Um, they're made, tailor-made to each individual user. So if you were wanting to place an order, all you would have to do was just um, submit a order form via the website, put in your sizes, and then we will make the trousers um, tailor-made to your sizes so that you don't have to deal with returns or anything like that. And hopefully that it provides a maximum comfort for you when you're wearing the trousers. Um, they're designed as well so that they look like a normal pair of trousers so that you're not already standing out um, out of the crowd so to say um, so you blend in like and it doesn't actually look like you're wearing anything that's peculiar or 
specifically for wheelchair users say because I know some people would rather just maybe get wet than wear a whole big poncho or something like that and I know from my experience being a younger wheelchair user that I didn't want to be seen wearing particular clothing or I wanted to be able to still sort of um, look normal for a want of a better word um, while staying about but these are designed specifically to just carry around with you um, in case you are caught out in the rain because like I say you can't look out in the window and think right today it might rain I'll put on my waterproof trousers all day um, so being able to just put them on and take them off again is um, is, is a great like asset I think to the trousers really um, and that's that's about it um, there's not much more to the product I'm sure most of you have probably had a quick look at the website my phone's just been dinging off um, to let know let people are logging on to the website so that's good to know um, but if you've got any questions I'm, I'm more than happy to answer them for you. yes go ahead um, I'm interested to I mean I, I think this it's a great idea because you know to have something that does that looks normal but I'm wondering if you have a sort of secret flap that most people can't see between your legs to stop all the water going down between your legs um is that like above the knee to your waist well no I was thinking of you know if you've got two legs as it were straight out in front of you um, sorry that's my phone sorry go on um then you know the water can get down between your legs and and you would get very wet unless there was a secret flap that, that yeah well at the as the trousers come over your knees they split just at the end of say where your cushion is um yeah. they would split there um and then they wrap around the leg individually behind your knee and each angle so the top piece is almost one piece of material. And then as it reaches your knees, it splits into two pieces um, so that it looks like a, a, a pair of trousers. Yeah, no, that's, that sounds good. And I, I, I suppose I haven't personally used on a, um, on a hand bike or anything like that, but things like if you wanted to use it on a hand bike, they would make it a lot easier to be able to spot on and still use your handbike rather than have your legs in something that is like a almost like a sleeping bag i've seen some of those products that are out there um yeah and that's what we're aiming to do basically is make something that still looks presentable and like i say normal for want of a better word um but um still do a job that is i believe is like very necessary because the amount of times i've gone out and about and been caught out in the rain even for the sake of, for example, I was going to a friend's house. I'd parked five minutes away from his house because the parking isn't great to get there. It was tipping down with rain. I can't hold an umbrella. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of people, unless you're very good at your wheelchair skills, would find it difficult to hold an umbrella and push a wheelchair at the same time. Um, so these trousers were perfect just to stick over the top of my clothing for that two minute ride down into his house and then I could whip them off, leave them over the radiator to dry and I was bone dry when I got in the house and I could wear my clothing that was underneath that I wanted to wear. I didn't have to then sit in wet trousers or things like that. Okay. okay. Any other questions? Steve, yeah, I, I just want to say thank you to Sam. On your website, which is a minute and 14 seconds long. Well, Good two seconds. Sorry, there was two of you going at one time. Yeah. Sorry, I was just saying you've got a video on your website showing how it's put on. For yes. a minute and 42 seconds, you would have been good to put that. Do you know how to share the screen and show video? Um, no, I'm not okay. very technically savvy, I'm afraid. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think but people yeah, can check that out. Aren't yeah, if you wanted to know how they work, then yeah, you can log on to FastFit Clothing and there's a website. Uh, a video on the website of how they work um, and how they, how yeah, you can see how they're put on basically. And it's not, Steve, you, yeah, it's not really a question. Oh, sorry. 
I, I just want to say thank you. I've been looking, for, I've designed this in my head for the last 30 years. Oh, and just, right. I, I, I've had a lack of motivation in my life to actually do something about it. So I'm glad you did. Thanks, Sam. Okay, no problem. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I've been actually doing this for many years already, the same design as Sam's, but with uh, for suits and everything, wearing on top of my tracksuit bottoms. And uh, the concept works really well. So I, if I have to wear a suit, I just wear my normal tracksuit bottoms and then split the suit and Velcro the same way Sam done behind the legs and you put them on top of your uh, comfortable trousers. So you don't have to worry about pockets and stuff. I've been doing it for years. <laughs> okay. While we're on the subject of waterproofs, so I'm going to put a plug in for a product that you possibly can't get. I put the link up. Um, Kinetic Balance in the Netherlands produce these things got a rain deck and now I say they produce them but um, I got this one a couple of years ago it looks just like a, a bag which is essentially what it is but it's completely waterproof um, and I find this for me is great because if I'm taking my daughter to school in the morning I just pop it over my knees it clips underneath my knees and then there's a strap that goes around the back of the chair, one that goes around the back of me, and it's on and it's secure. It's 100% waterproof. It runs off like water off a duck's back. But the issue with these, it was uh, something like £65, and it's a very simple looking product. Um, comes, Yeah, it's a lot of money for what well, looks like a piece of waterproof cloth with a few clips on it. Uh, but it is very, very high quality. Um, and it gives me the confidence that I know I can do the school run without getting my cushion wet. Um, so it's great, but you can't get them in large or extra large. You can get them in the smaller sizes. Um, I put the link to Kinetic Balance on there. They do quite a range of clothing. I did try and contact them about coming on today. They haven't got back to me, so obviously comms isn't amazing, but that's another company out there that you might want to look into. Um, but I know while we're on the subject of waterproofs, Rolitex did a brand, um, did a range. Um, and I've used some of the Rolitex, um, the waterproof jeans, um, when I've been doing my land sailing or what have you. And to get out on a beach and to be able to do active sports, um, quad biking, land sailing, those sort of things where you don't want a, a lap covering necessarily and you want to wear a pair of waterproof trousers those were pretty good not not as good as wearing full salopettes i've got to add but it was another good product out there so guy do you want to take us through the roly tech thanks chris yeah on those uh, waterproofs they they also have a, a micro fleece liner which is laminated to the um to the outer so so they they're warmer as well so just to introduce myself i'm guy harris um i introduced Rolitex to the UK and and sold them uh, around the world kind of all English speaking and English as a sort of second search language speaking countries uh, when I discovered them in Germany and um, I, I you know it was a, partly as a personal thing and partly for, for business but the reason I love them they're made in the same factories using many of the same fabrics as Levi um, diesel, I think, and true religion. Um, so coming back to you, Lady Marie, the, the question you asked about expense, like these aren't, if you buy jeans in, in Asda, then these aren't for you. They're, they're, a, they're a designer brand. But the, the thing I love about them is they cost less than a pair of um, Levi's, and yet there's more handiwork involved because there's, there's a lot of um, the process is mostly automated, but when, when the Rolitex do the runs in the, in the factories in Turkey, um, there are sp special features which, which need to be done um, individually. So quick run through. I've got a pair of uh, the winter line jeans here, and I'll show you these again. Same principle. They've got a, a, a you can't see this very well on the camera, but they've got a, a, a sort of a micro fleece lining. Um, and this also has been laminated to the, to the denim. So there's no risk of a ruckle or a pressure sore. They are, um, so also to say, I, I stopped working with them about three years ago, but I'm, I'm still in touch with them. I love the project product. I don't have any other trousers other than Rolitex. So um, because I'm English speaking, it's, you know, it's a pleasure to come on. So they're the same. They've got the higher back um, 
uh, they, they've uh, got the little bits of elastic. You can get fully elastic waists, but you, but also um, just these section here. So when you're sitting and doing them up, that that kind of elastic gives you the stretch you need, and then and then they go back and they sit really comfortably, which means that when you're transferring, they they stay up rather than shifting down uh, down down your backside. The the buttons are all. Um, uh, they look like buttons, but actually they're on sliders. And the owner of Rolutex is a tetraplegic, so he's very aware of uh, limited dexterity. And one of the things they do is they put their belt loop really close to the um, fastener. And the way he does it, he does it independently. He slides his hand through here when he's wearing them. And so when he's going to the loo, uh, you know, to catheterize or whatever, he, he can do it like that. And one of the early bits of feedback I had when I was selling them was from a tetraplegic who said it's the first time he's been able to catheterize independently in 25 years. So, so that was uh, exciting stuff. The zip, um, it's an extra long zip, which when you're sitting down, it, obviously this applies to men more than women. Sorry, uh, Lady Marie and Diana mm -hmm. and, 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 and others. Uh, we, could, we don't actually have to get the jeans right down. We can just open up and that extra length allows that to happen. And the other thing he's done is he's used a, I mean, it's a really good quality grade zip, uh, but it's a slightly a bigger grade, which means that it slides up and down more easily. And so on his pair, I, I'm a paraplegic, so I don't have the same issues, but on his pair, he just slips a little um, loop through there and then pulls them up and down with his, with his fingers. Um, pockets, they're, they're designed, so they look like jeans pockets, regular jeans but they're in fact, they're easier. The, the, the size of them and the positioning of them is such that when you're sitting down, it's, it's easy to put your hands in and out. To answer your earlier question, Lady Marie, I, I use mine for handkerchiefs if I'm going out. Uh, mostly I've got my phone in my wheelchair pocket, but if I'm getting out of that for some reason, like into my mountain trike, then I'll, I'll, I'll just slip a phone in. I haven't had any issues. Um, the back seam, again, it's shaped so these like, um, Dan mentioned the dart. These have got, you know, it's a, it's a similar principle. And the back seam, so there's obviously, there's no pockets or studs at the back um, for obvious reasons. And that back seam, I don't know whether you can see it, it's a side by side. So it's sewn like that rather than over and under. And so that, that means that there's, there's no kind of pressure issues there. The, the legs are cut extra long, seem to go on for miles. Um, and this, so, so they had to make a decision. As a retailer, you can't stock every waist size and every leg length. And so what they've done is they've, they've, I'm six foot two and I don't get these altered or cut, although I could get a little bit shaven off. Uh, I used to have customers who were six five who, who were very grateful for them. They do do a service where they uh, will alter them before they send them out to you. They do a really professional job. It looks immaculate. But please, 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 if you've never ordered Rolotex before, do not get your first pair cut by them because what you think you might need to take off is usually different. And until you're wearing them, you won't know. So if you haven't had them cut and they're all the wrong size, you can send them back, no problem. Um, once you've done that, once you've had them cut by a local tailor, then it's like, I think it was something like five euros uh, to get a pair done. They'll ship them out to you as dead easy after that. Um, the other detail that they do, which I, I love, um, so they've got these, um, these belt loops on regular jeans, things like Le Levi's, these are sewn on with um, cotton and lots of, especially Tetras, you'll find that you've got uh, tears where, where you've tried to hoik yourself up by the belt loop and it's torn the, um, the, the, the material around it, which is very frustrating. These are actually sewn on, they sew those bits on with nylon. And that makes them much, much tougher. So when you're, um, you know, hoiking up, they, they last much longer. Um, they've got, so, so little bits of advice, just in terms of buying advice, which I used to give customers. Um, if, you're, if you're buying, if you find a pair that you like, uh, an idea is to buy two or three pairs of the same, uh, of the same line. And the reason for this is, you know, spinal injury, if you're out and you have an accident, then it enables you to literally take yourself off discreetly, go sort yourself out, change, and you come out in the same jeans and or the same trousers and no one's, you, you keep your dignity intact, you don't need to explain anything. And, and that's not just for Rolitex, that's across the board. Um, sizing. 
because they're a German, sorry, I'm rattling through whistle stop tour. Because they're a sizing, uh, a ger they use a German sizing um, chart and it's like, it looks really random and it fries uh, everyone's heads here. So it's kind of got numbers like um, 44, 46, 48. And it seems as random almost as, as you know, where how women have sizing, you know, 10, 12, 14. The way to do, the way to size these genes when you go to the website for the first time is take, if you have a, if you have, if you're like, if you're wearing Able to Wear, if you're wearing uh, Bombini Tribe or, or any of the others, that's fine, that, or Roly Moden, the sizes are, are, are comparable. But if you have a regular pair of trousers, if you fold them in half, uh, front to back, measure that, multiply it by two, um, then, then that will give you, that gives you the size in centimeters. And effectively, with the, with the, the distance of travel, with the extra height at the back adds about one size. So it's so long, it's, I mean, it's so many years since I've worn regular ones, but if, you're, if you wear, a, I don't know, say a, a, a mainstream G, you know, trousers, you wear 32, then order a 34. So that's the, that's the first thing. You'll need to convert it into centimeters. Once you understand, take your regular size, add one size, convert it into centimeters, it's actually very simple. The second set of choices, uh, they have, in their product codes, they have an E and an N. The E are the slimmer fitting ones. Uh, they're all a straight leg cut, so they, you know, that, that, don't worry about that. The N are the slightly wider ones. So Stephen, you were talking about leg bags or one of you was talking about leg bags. Um, if, you, if you wear a, a leg bag on your thigh, then I would go for the N. I'm, I'm a, an L1, I don't have kind of muscle mass, so I, I wear the where the slightly slimmer fit and they just look uh, normal uh, on my, you know, like uh, on my legs. The other difference is at the height at the back, you can get an eight or a 12. The 12 comes up slightly higher. Some people will swear by one or other and other people won't notice the difference. So I don't really notice the difference, but I generally get slim fit in size 12. And, and once you know those sizes, then you can so you can use a much more effective search on the website by filtering the genes and it'll just show you what's available in your size. Um, very quickly, they do do other clothes. They do, they do jeans, they do some formal wear. They do uh, linen trousers, which uh, I'm living in at the moment now that we're all at home and no one can see my lower half. They're super comfortable. Um, uh, they do a kind of rather than a denim -y ones. They do this kind of just cottony ones, which I feel like I wear if I'm wearing shirt and, and, and smart trousers in the office. So, so there's quite a choice. And, and, and the, um, what have I missed? I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. So they're a German company, sadly, cause I'm no longer with them. They don't have, um, a base in the UK. So if you order stuff, if you don't like it, obviously you can return it, but you need to return it to Germany. Um, some of their taste is a little German and some of it is, you know, totally British and fabulous. But they are, they, to all intents and purposes, whenever I've been out at shows or talked to people and they say, they look, I tell them about the wheelchair jeans, they look at me and, and say, why, what's, what's different about them? And the joy is, Everything is designed and manufactured to work for our specialist needs, but, but you cannot tell the difference between these and a pair of Levi's once they're on. And, and so, you know, in terms of adaptive clothing, you know, they, they completely uh, fit, fit the bill. And just to be clear, Rolitex is not Roly Moden. Like Roly Moden existed when Murat, the, um, the owner of Rolitex, uh, had his accident and he, he, he didn't go much on Roly, uh, Roly mode and he did, didn't like their style, didn't like their cut. And so uh, sorted his own stuff. And the reason he was able to do it with such great um, uh, quality is because most of the clothing manufacturing for things like jeans happens in Turkey. And, and he's second generation Turkish immigrant in Germany. So he's, he's got the best of both worlds. He's got all these wonderful connections in Turkey uh, and, and, and also Germany. Any questions for Guy? Stephen, you'll need to switch your, um, there you go. Yeah. Um, first of all, Guy, you sent me about eight pairs about 15 years ago or something crazy. Mm -hmm. um, Stephen in Cornwall. Um, 
one question I have for all manufacturers, I, I would really like a pair of long johns that have the extension at the back with no seam at the bum. That's what I would really like. But I discovered Rodotex and they are dearer. My advice would be keep an eye on the website because they do really good sales. For example, they got 130 euro designer jeans for $60, 60 euro or something at the moment. Really keep an eye on their website. And the other thing is, saying about price, you know, with carers pulling me around and all that, jeans just rip and jeans just fall apart. I can't say for any other manufacturer, so I'm only saying Rotex because that's the only experience I have. They're German engineered. They, they last years and years and years. Whereas other jeans I bought before that would be ripped apart within six months. Um, and the other thing is that, extra little bit at the back, which I think all manufacturers have here. I, I think I searched for wheelchair jeans. I apologize for that, but I did. Years and years ago, simply because I went past a mirror at some point, um, I noticed my carer hadn't put my top down and my ass was hanging out of my jeans. <laughs> so I, I went and looked for somewhere to have that extension at the top. And I've lived in jeans ever since I discovered them. Every new carer I get that comes in and goes, I think tracksuit bottoms would be really good. God, they get a look off of me. The other carers look at them as well. So, you know, I lived in tracksuit bottoms for the first 18 months. There is. And I just, uh... Funnily enough, uh, we used to get a lot of customers, well, not a lot, a number of customers who still wanted tracksuit bottoms. And so they make them and they sell them. But they also, I notice now on their website, they make them, using a kind of stretchy denim fabric. So actually, even as tracksuit bottoms, they still look like jeans. And, and a, lot of their, a lot of their art is, is in uh, how, how they work and how they look. And they've managed to nail form and function. Chris, can I just say, you've, you've stuck the Roly Moden uh, uh, link and we are absolutely not Roly Moden. It, it's rolytex.co.uk. Yeah, I did put up the Rayleigh text link first. Oh, for everybody. sorry, you, so you completely... I did put the Rayleigh text link up for everybody. And then, as you mentioned, Rayleigh Moden, yeah, yeah, I thought I'd, sorry. to be fair to them... No, no, I quite, no, no, I think it's... I, out there. No, I, it's, I think it's completely helpful. When I did the um, Disabled Gear website, I made sure that I listed everyone uh, because th this is the whole point, is to have, is to have choice. And, and it, mm. it helps everyone that we're all in, you know, in, in the same... Uh, room together. Yeah, I've had um, clothes from Rolly Moden and they've been fine. I got married in a, a my wedding suit was from Rolly Moden. They did me a good deal. Um, and I used to wear the jeans all the time. And then when I found Rolly Tex, so I was a, a convert. So I'm wearing them now. They're dead comfy. Um, they, yeah, like you say, you can get into the pockets. Had the Rodeo jeans with the pocket on the thigh, which was great for my phone but then they stopped doing those, but you've got to buy them. Like you say, you've got to buy the line that fits you and suits you when it's going, haven't you? Yeah, they make basically every season they produce, well, it used to be, I don't know how they're doing it now, but they, they produce new lines. And so uh, when they, you know, when the old one is gone, they, they're gone. Um, so if you like something, you know, my, my advice to customers was always like, if you like it, get two or three pairs. I always used to buy three of the same pair um you know hang on to them for longer and and the, the other thing that is worth noting and this isn't this isn't really text this is an industry-wide thing uh when you if you buy say three of the same in one order you'll notice that they they fit they can fit slightly differently and this is this is a kind of clothing manufacturing you know on, on, a, on a mass scale uh, they're just our tolerances. Um, they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be outrageous. Like if if it's a really wide gap, then they need to go back because there's a fault. Um, but generally, I'll have one pair out of three, which is my absolute favourite. One which don't sort of, and either here nor there. And sometimes one uh, which just doesn't fit quite as well. And if that, if that, if I if that does happen like that, I usually just send them back and ask for another pair. Um, you know, they're happy to do that. The, the other thing, sorry, it's worth mentioning, Rolitex also do underwear, uh, so the boxer shorts, um, uh, which are really comfortable as well, and that they're worth, they, they have um, a, a, a sort of a fly hole, which is just, 
easier to access for catheterizing. Um, and, and while I'm thinking about wearing a lot of our customers for who have leg bags on, on their ankle or on their calf, uh, when they were getting these done, that they would, they would get um, their leg ends altered so that they'd either put a zip or a hidden Velcro in at the bottom uh, so that they could just open them up uh, very easily and, and empty the leg bag and then just close them up and, and no one would be any the wiser. You're on. Yeah, I'm muted. I'm muted again. I need to move on very quickly. So, um, Jake, can I get you to unmute? And I was going to go to Chris, but Jake's on a schedule. So, um, tell us a bit, yeah. bit about King and Allen. Certainly, yes. Yeah. So, um, I founded King and Allen. We were a bespoke tailors uh, in 2003. Um, so, we are uh, bespoke tailors for business wear, for weddings. Um, and we do, um, currently we've grown uh, a lot in different areas. And one thing which has become popular is uh, adaptive clothing. Um, I say, well, I say popular, people have found us through, through uh, that need. So um, yeah, we're a little bit different because we make everything from scratch. So it's really interesting to hear everything that everyone said so far. And I've made a few notes about different aspects of clothing. What we do is because we're making everything from scratch, it means it's highly customizable uh, and we can make uh, clothing. We make suits, so trousers, jackets, waistcoats to people's exacting requirements. So that means we can really have a discussion with each individual and fit something just specifically for them. So many things are the same as, uh, as, um, as, as what's been discussed already. Things like having a very high back on the trousers, um, the, the pockets on the, on the trousers, either um, not having them at all or changing the angle of the pockets is um, very much something we do. But what we can do is we can take each individual and we make them something that fits their exact shape. So uh, the sleeve length, for example, as a general um, rule would be longer uh, if your hands are resting on your lap. Um, so uh, that's just a sort of a general rule. But for us, we can measure, we can take that exact measurement and we can have that sleeve sitting exactly where each client wants it to be. Uh, same with the trouser leg. Um, so yeah, that can be, that can be customized to fit when uh, someone's in a wheelchair. Um, other things I'm sure that people are familiar with problems is the length of the jacket. And I think that came across on uh, Helen's video on the BBC very much that the, she didn't want the length of her jacket coming over the wheels because um, obvious reasons it might get caught in the wheels or um, for, you know, getting dirty in wet weather. So we customize the, the length of the jacket. So not only does it sit nicely at the back and doesn't come over the wheels at the sides, but it also sits nicely on your lap. So you can have it exactly as you want. Some of our uh, wheelchair uh, user clients would like the um, jacket to come down and just sit like this. So it just comes down and folds over the lap. So it just has a little bit of a, a, a sort of a lip on the lap. And, other, and some of our other clients like it to just sit as if uh, it didn't touch. So it doesn't fold over. So it just sits like straight down. So it's just one continuous shape. But either way, we can do that. Um, Another great option that um, we can use to make a, a nicer fit is the top button position. So if you think about the top button position on a jacket where it sits, that determines how long the lapel is. And it also determines where the jacket cuts away. So from the button here, obviously the jacket then cuts away. So that can be used to fasten the jacket, either one or two button. Um, you can use that to fasten the jacket just where you want on the waist and then it just cuts and sits nicely over the lap. Um, we would also cut a greater angle on the front of the jacket as well. So it's what we're offering is it's an option when you don't want to wear tracksuits. Um, and I had a client in this week who, who came to us, one because his daughter was getting married and he wanted to feel confident and um, smart uh, so he wanted a suit but he also decided to buy another pair of trousers with us as well because he was so fed up with wearing tracksuits everywhere he went 
or tracksuit trousers. Um, and so we were able to, to make something that, that fitted his body shape, also his requirements as a wheelchair user. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it's hugely adaptable. Uh, we can do things uh, to each individual's requirements, which is an individual discussion. So things like fasteners, uh, elastic in the waist can all be incorporated into a suit. So um, we've got a website, which I think has been, uh, yes, it's put up there. Um, and yeah, we've got some examples on our website, which you're free to take a look at. I was going to ask about the sizing, Jake, because when I got married, I was a, a little bit chunkier than I am now. And, and it seems hard to believe, doesn't it? <laughs> so were you able to, to take clothes in successfully if somebody loses weight or, or what? Yeah, we, I mean, yes, okay. absolutely. Yeah. So the suit, um, the suit is initially made with some inlays in the seams so that it can be adjusted. Um, so you could go either way. You can lose weight or you can gain weight. But yeah, certainly something we can do because they're bespoke. There's a they're, because the suits are bespoke. Um, there's a lot. Uh, they can be uh, adjusted in many more ways than say an off-the-peg garment. Um, and because we're skilled tailors as well, we can do we can do we can work wonders to a suit. And in terms of getting a fitment, do you have to go to do a shop or something to get that? Done? Yeah. So I we have physical stores um, and it's. Um, I would say it's essential to come and actually see us and let us measure you. Um, so we're based in uh, Surrey and Cheshire and London. Uh, and we also visit Birmingham on a, a fortnightly basis where we have a pop-up a pop-up store in Birmingham. So I don't know if you guys are local to Birmingham, but uh, that might be your, your closest area. But yeah, so you come and see us and we go through, uh, we'd look at all the cloths. So we have thousands of cloths that you can choose from. So if you want something a bit brighter, a bit more interesting, a little bit more flamboyant, we can do that. Also, we've got, you know, lots of uh, navy blues, greys, blacks, the kind of typical suit colours. Uh, so you've come and choose a cloth. Uh, and then we talk about the style of the suit, uh, choose the lining and all the other um, sort of customizable options to it. Any more questions? Jake? Yeah, I'd like to ask a question. Do you only use materials from your store to make outfits or can the individual bring their own material? Uh, no, you can bring your own material. Um, so we have a, a set price for, for bringing, you know, for a lower, uh, set lower price if you wanted to bring your own material where we take, obviously take our cost out of the, out of the garment for the material. Um, mm -hmm. And then you can have a jacket made or trousers. Yeah, definitely. Do you make clothing for women as well? We do indeed, yes. So it's something that not a lot of tailors do. Um, when you cut suits, when you're a suit cutter, you either cut for men or you cut for women. So you're, you build your career on, on the basis of being a men's cutter or a women's cutter. So a lot of tailors shy away from doing women's tailoring because they don't want to employ two cutters. Um, but we do that. So, yeah, we're fairly unique in that we do men and women's tailoring. Jake, I wish I'd known about you uh, years ago. Um, people used to ask when I was uh, working with Rolitex, people used to ask me all the time about suits and I would have, uh, I'd have sent a lot of people your way. Brilliant. Well, I hope you've still got some contacts who will be interested. <laughs> and as usual, everything is expensive. As usual, everything is expensive, but you get what you pay for. So I would say we are relatively inexpensive as a tailor. So if you think about the thousands of pounds you could spend on Savile Row, um, our starting price is £499 for a two-piece suit, um, which, you know, is not something for, perhaps for everyone, for, and certainly not for everyday wear. But if you're getting married, um, you know, it's comparable to a, certainly to um, a wedding dress, uh, which you'd certainly spend uh, that kind of money on or even more. Fantastic. Well, you've solved one problem, what I'm going to wear at the wedding. Now I just need someone to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go back to um, a slightly more general question, but it's really for all of you. I mean, there the clearly was a preoccupation with tracksuit trousers, which has, has gone over to a preoccupation with jeans on the whole. 
Um, where can one get any of you warm, um, as in maybe thermal line, fleece lined or something, trousers that are not jeans? For women or for men or for both? For women. Well, I mean, I, me being female, I, but yeah. Totally. Yeah, I found a, a quite a nice pair of Peter Store trousers that are sort of like semi waterproof on the outside, the water repellent, but yeah, the fleece, I, on, fleece on the inside. And yeah, they're, all one, they're all one fabric. Yeah, I'm not talking about waterproof trousers. I'm talking about keep you warm trousers. Yeah, well, they are keep you warm trousers. Really, <laughs> okay. really, really and waterproof. What, where did they come from? I think I got them from Millins Outdoors. Yeah, because I, I have serious trouble with needing a high back. I, I really need a 12 mm -hmm. to meter up the back thing. Um, mm, well, they're only, they're not for, made for, they're not adapted, but they yeah. suit me. Yeah, well, I, I not, do, it's just I the way I sit that I have to have wheelchair trousers. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I used to get really modern, but they stopped doing the 12 centimetre back as far as I can make out. Um, and I've had to send things back and they said they couldn't do them, do it, at, you know, anything to fit anymore. So, um, I mean, I've got out my sewing machine, but I... I um, don't want to have to do double fleece thermal light stuff that would be a nightmare to do I think mm -hmm. um, so uh, Diana um, Chris has just uh, popped in the chat the link to Rolitex's trousers for women um, I, I mean I will I will say the choice for women with Rolitex is not as good as the choice for men. And that, <laughs> unfortunately, it's a commercial thing. If, yeah. if as many women bought Rolitex as men, they'd have a, a greater chance, a greater, great, uh, but it, as a business, in order to survive as a business, they have to make what sells, just as every business mm. uh, is, that's represented here. And yeah. um, I had... I mean, literally a handful of, of women customers and some of those women customers bought, you know, preferred the men's jeans for fit as well as looks. So it, it, it's a, it was easier back in the day when I was here because you could return things, uh, buy as many as you want and return them to the UK. But one of the decisions to take it back was that they, they, they could offer the whole range um, to you know to everyone and and in some ways that's it is it is a much it's a much better thing but but I, you know if you're going to try rolitex i would say buy a whole load of stuff in a few different sizes and then you're sending back think you know all the things even if it's everything but you're sending everything with one at one cost yeah but but um oh dear i forgot what i was going to say now um i mean is the reason the women weren't buying them because there were so many jeans I, I don't know. I mean, we saw whether it was at trade fairs, like if you if you'd been sitting behind the stand with me at say um, Nadex or the um, I can't think what it was called now, the Mobility Road Show, um, I had man after man after man after man after man come up, and I had OTs come up, um, but I, I didn't see I didn't see uh, women, women wheelchair users coming up and expressing an interest. And so you're right, chicken or egg. I, I, I don't know the answer to that. It, it's just, it's, it's difficult. They do a range, they've increased the range. Um, but if they make stock that didn't, so it doesn't sell, then that's the fastest way they're going to go out of business. And I, I, when, I, when I first brought them over, I bought, I mean, it was, you know, thousands of euros worth of stock at my own risk uh, for disabled gear. And, and we switched it so that um, they took back control. I didn't have the liability and the customer had uh, the ability to buy from the whole stock and, and, you know, which was better for them. So everyone won. But one of, one of the things that was that they brought back all, their, all my uh, unsold stock, which was actually quite a terrifying liability. And so all, all these businesses are they're governed by the realities of trying, to, of trying to make a living. And one of the reasons I stopped doing it is I wasn't making a living doing it. And, and we had a bit of a tussle in that, you know, I was saying, look, we've really got to do some marketing. And, and they were very much in the flesh and wanted to do trade shows. And I was very much, you know, come on, we need to get digital. And, and 
you know, that, that, that was fine. I, I felt we were missing some low hanging fruit, but it, it's, it's really tough. It, it's wonderful being inclusive. Like what Jake is doing is, is absolutely fabulous. And I wish more businesses followed uh, what he's doing, what everyone else here, you know, what, what, what Dan is doing, um, what Sam is doing, you know, they're putting their own lives on the line to, uh, to, to make this stuff, which no one else is wanting to make or making. And, and it's really hard trying to pay your mortgage, pay for your family, pay all your bills whilst doing uh, something which is, which is low volume. So, hey, so you that's, that's a brilliant opportunity actually to bring in Chris, if you're ready, because um, Chris is running a, a fairly new startup really, isn't it? Okay, you, sorry Chris, you with us now? Hi, hi. Um, if you want to tell us about Optiva, Optiva, sorry. So, sorry, actually it spells this way, Optivus. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Optivus. <laughs> yes, kindly, thank you very much. So, hello everyone, I am the founder of Optivus Limited and we are based here in the UK. I am a mother to a child with um, complex needs. Um, he had brain damage when he was 10 months, led to disability and really, really com complexities. Um, so I'm, I've been struggling finding clothes and I created one myself. So that is the story of Octavus. And then it get expanded into adult, adult range on um, children, from six years old to adult um, adulthood. So that, that's Optivus. Um, at present, we combined the, the brand. So we combined the global source of, for um, semi-dependent um, consumer. And the other one is the adaptive um, clothing, which is, I will be showing you some. So said, this is one of the products. It's a jeans. It's not just an ordinary jeans. Um, it is for to promote independence. This is designed to to lay the jeans into the wheelchair, sit on it, and zip it up. So if you could see, the front has a velcro. It's three belt velcros in front, and the side has opening up into six inches from the ankle. In this way, you, the, the whole jeans, because the jeans is made of um, spandex and 100% cotton um, denim and very stretchable. So it kind of open this way. So you lay the jeans on the wheelchair. Uh, I don't know if you could see, um, is, can, could you kindly please give me a head, head up, heads up if you could hear me? Yes. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Good Thank you. So this is the jeans. You lay it flat on the wheelchair, sit on it, hook your um, feet on the, on the um, obviously the feet area, and then sit and sit on it comfortably, and you zip it up the both sides. So this way, because my little one travels a lot, he loves traveling, and it's just so hard for me to change him, and then. I get into a lot of surveys um, from people that I know who's wearing, who, is, who are wheelchair dependent and they would love to not to sit on the floor or at least be independent to do it themselves. So this is the reason why it has a zipper on the side because I really wanted them to sit on it and zip it up. And uh, if you could see the sides also has um, a zipper guide we're in, it's a palm size. This is um, a children's size, I'm sorry, I'm holding. But it's a palm size wherein you can put on your, the whole of your um, palm. It, it would, it's easier to pull it. And it, it is being held by the Velcro in place. So it won't be digging into the hips area. So the, the inseam here is quite long. And um, it is meant to be this one because we wanted to tuck the tummy area. That is the reason why the hips is very stretchable and the whole of the waist is stretchable and it has um, a size 
elasticity here wherein you can you can you can adjust the sizing if you wanted it to be a little bit tighter then you can tighten up and or if not then loosen up so these are the things and if you especially for those people who wear a catheter and the catheter is already full and obviously it's it's easier to empty the catheter because the sides will be opening this way and you can just easily access the um the area so this is one of our best seller um th there is also another jacket so we pretty much cover the whole range and also as i have said we combined the two the our own brand which is the adoptive clothing and the globally sourced um, wheelchair friendly clothes such as there are no back packets on the products and um but all optivas is pretty much more into the adaptive very much um customized clothing that fits in that more into facilitating independence and at the same time comfortable for the user at the same time um, making it easier for the carer who renders the care so that has been the mission of the brand so this is a jacket for children if you can see it's quite trendy that's what we have chosen it's a streetwear brand it's a combination of velcro and a magnet so it closes it's a self-closing jacket so they you don't really have to worry about them finding the zipper or um, because it will be guided by the the, the magnets and it will be sealed by the Velcro. So that is a combination of Velcro and a magnet. Um, it, if you can see, the quality is really, really good. I have sourced the market or the, all the pretty much manufacturer all over Asia, Portugal, Turkey, and pretty much which one is best. And I found out that Pakistan is quite good and Turkey is quite good with fleece and jeans. So they are the one who's manufacturing the, the product. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much combining all of what is available and what is the best one that offers um, the needs um, of my consumer. Um, we tried to limit or as, as, as much as we could not to go into a very expensive um, clothing. To be honest with you, this is supposedly like a charity for me, like a mom, but then it, it really need money in the end, at the end of the day for it to be able to grow and be able to meet that um, one day. So I put it in a, as a limited company for the meantime. So yeah, and it's been, it's been growing. Now we are globally sourcing. We have as well, um, what do you call this one, a backpack. If you could visit our website, there, this is a backpack we're in. It can be worn by um, a carer at the back as a normal backpack or it can be put on in front because it has some um, extra strap in here to hold it in in front of the wheelchair so the whole of the heavy or the weight would be on the wheelchair rather than your feet and you get an access to it if you could see it's orange because I wanted it to be easy, easily find, easily to find it, and it has um, assisted um, zipper and assisted hook, so it'll be easier. We use, we use a good quality zipper because we re pretty much all of our product are really good quality zippers because that is what we have been trying to, to give it to the consumer for them to have that accessibility and easy, easy as much as possible, easier than what is, is being offered in the market. Because I know that it is so hard already to them and we just wanted to make their lives a little bit easier in a way that it is more fashionable, more trendy and to be heard. So if this is one of the backpacks, as I've said, it can, be, it can be put on at the back of the wheelchair or in front of wherein you can easily access it. It has a USB port for those who love to use the cell phone while you are driving the wheelchair or using the wheelchair. And the bottles are, we found, we found out that most of the wheelchair user 
they kind of take, I don't know, but there is a thief bottle that they call. So we put the bottle area at, in, inside, inside the bag and it has a little basket on it because we, we just don't want other people to, to be holding the bottle, water bottle. So, um, so this is one of the product backpack. We have adapted shirts. Instead of buttons, we use Velcro on it. And some, some clothes are also, we also use magnets um, just for it to be easier rather than using, using the button. I have, for the winter collection, this is a waterproof jacket. It is not very, very, it's pretty much different from what it is in the market. It, if you could see the back area is longer than the front because we wanted to have that full coverage. Now my little one sweat a lot because he obviously of his dystonia and his possum. And when we're traveling, it's just so hard to remove the jacket, put it on, especially if he is having um, appointment in, in somewhere in London. It's, it, it travels, we have to travel pretty much an hour or two. And it's just so hard to, to undo it and put it back. So I, I designed this for the jacket to open on the side of the arm. So, because my little one's also having a problem when he's bending. So because of this plasticity, so the jacket opens in the both arm. So if his and since it is opening in the uh, all three sides, if you can see here, it opens on the sides. Um, so and as well as the front. So if the child is too hot, you can just undo this one while he is in in a wheelchair. Undo it, and that is just to make him more comfortable during the travel. And when you're about to when you, and when you're about to get out of the train zip it up the arm and you just put it back and it's jacket again you don't have to move him you don't have to do anything but it's it's just make it um, easier to put on so this is one of the um, collection for the um the winter winter jacket um collections and we've got trousers we've got tracksuit on the on the basis of the globally sourced um items they are um, wheelchair um, friendly in there's no, such as no pocket or we use elastic waist not as very good as the adaptive clothing that is specified for what is needed by um, the more and more most complex um, clients or the consumers but it, it's pretty much the designs are quite good and just for them to be to have that um, options as well as the adaptive fully adaptive clothing so um, um, that's the just it. If you have any question, please, I am very happy to answer it. I've looked on your website and hmm. I've seen uh, everything on your website that's available for disabled people. Yes, UK and globally. Right, it would have been good to see a model you know, we are fairly new. I, I launched the business November. I have been doing oh. pre, yes, yes. And you know what had happened when the lockdown. And to be honest, I've been sending stuff just for them. Pretty much most of the photos are from ambassadors who are Olympic medalists. Some are very, very um, passionate in sharing, advocate in the, um, the disability and um, raising awareness of the things that they're, they're so awesome that you, you know, they're just so awesome people. And I'm so flattered that they love the product and that they get to share it, take a photo and share it to the Instagram. But as I have said, it's supposedly, we supposedly be arranging um, a photo shoot but I'm quite hesitant to put them into that situation because of the, what is going on. That is the reason why it, it is not um, well uh, modeled or shown properly. Okay. So that's the reason why. I'm really, really hoping that it'll be better soon because I'm trying, what I'm trying to do as in marketing, um, as, as, you know, as for, for, for them, for the, the brand to be heard and for more people to get to know the service and for, to benefit it is I'd love to arrange a 
um, a, um, a fashion show one day for them, since we've covered the, pretty much the whole range from children and into the adulthood. And I'd love, I'd, I'd really love that, but um, uh, well, lockdown okay. and this is, yes, the challenge that we're facing in our lifetime. And just a general comment for everybody. Thank you so much for coming on, but there's only one thing I have an issue with. As you can tell, probably, I like bright colors, but all I can see are gray tracksuits and trousered jeans, and, and, and I'm like, oh, okay. And that's why I never purchase any of those clothing because I don't oh. wear trousers at all. I, all you I get my things made because I, unfortunately, I have a dressmaker, so I can buy my own material, take it to her, design my own outfit, and she makes them. Lady Marie, no, if, if, Lady Marie, if you can buy, if you can buy a bulk buy from Rolitex, I have every confidence that they will do bright colours. The problem is, <laughs> the bright colours that we've done in the past, they sit on the shelves. Yeah. And and this is literally this is what this is what stops companies existing. So it, it's it's brilliant feedback, and I it's so hard. Like uh, Diana, I I also I really feel for you with this thing of the small sizes. Like these are these are real these are real issues. And, and their frustrations for you both that you live, like, you know, and, and have to put up with. And it's agonizing as a business um, to have to say, yeah, we hear you. And, and you know, I, I'm not part of Rolitex anymore, but, but, but it, it is, it's, it's agonizing. Like, we're trying to, we're, we're trying to cater for, um, uh, you know, a, a demographic and, and we just, we can't, we can't meet all, meet all your aspirations. And, and, and it's, this, it's this awful thing of, of, of business and, and numbers and sometimes it's an excuse and sometimes it's a reason so it's good to it's good to ask these questions it's really important to ask these questions and it, and it is it's 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 frustrating not to be able to go brilliant let's sort it um they you know rolitex i know they they're sticking with what sells and and, and even i used to see it with ver say black versus um blue and 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 we they just cut they they cut the 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 lines of black jeans down because the blue just sold all day every day um and so what they focused on was making like one really quality you know they they, they had a, a a dye which was really really good quality and just it, you know as long as you didn't tumble dry them it, it 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 stayed black and you know that that was their that was their kind of solution to to the issue but but yeah if that was your color you just didn't you didn't get the choice um and it and it's hard. One of the Hi, things I'm I've sorry. I've, I've, I've got a few which is very bright. I saw that. Out. That's a dress with that. a very good length. Um, and it's, it's, it, it, is, it is oversized. So you'll be able to, you know, um, if you wanted it with a belt or without a belt. So it, it, it would, it, uh, we've got harem, We've got harem clothes, um, and we've got pink. So I think what would be helpful if somebody would come up with an idea whereby we know that prior to injury, we would go to the shops, buy our clothes off the rack, which I still do. Um, and um, but the transition from doing that, sustaining the injury and then you're going into black or blue. It would be nice for somebody to develop something where you can continue the old you to an extent. Because I'm, that's why I still wear my bright colors. I've always loved bright colors. So that's why I designed my own. Totally. In the, in the, uh, in the old days of uh, A Paralyzed as a forum, there was a woman there who, um, who started her own she was from the US and she started her own company. And I, and I have tried to look them up for this and, and I can only assume that uh, she's not still in business. Um, but she was, there, there are one or two uh, women who, who have literally picked up this gauntlet and, and uh, you know, tried to run with it. Um, I just, I can't find them on the internet. And I, if, you, you know, they're, they're, they're there and they're addressing it. And, Angie, I think her name was yeah. Angela. But so, so they have they have been, but obviously they didn't have enough customers, or they weren't able to market enough. Um, it, it's a it's a it's a brutal environment to be to be trying to run a business. Um,
but you, you know, I, I totally agree. And, and it's great that you've got your uh, tailor. And in some ways, I would say it's the same with, with Jake's business. I, I would, if, if they know how to tailor for you, I, I would also uh, be um, pushing them, you know, into, uh, as in helping market them. So in terms of if, if SIA do a, a bit of content around this, then I would say, you know, share their details. If they can handle more work and they're doing things that you love and that, you know, they're using your, you know, the colors and the fabrics and, and the, the cost is right. If, if, if they're hitting those things, like help them, really help them and, and tell other people about them because that's, that, that's the thing that makes the difference. It's much easier to be uh, an inclusive business with disability mm. than it is to be an exclusive business. Uh, disability business so you know look, look literally get them make sure they're in that piece of, of, of content that SIA do yeah they, I mean they the most she that charged me for it because I buy my own material so I source my own material and I bring it to her yeah yeah the most expensive thing she's ever made for me was 60 pounds amazing the other the other way you can you can kind of push that in in, in terms of content is explaining how um you know how, how, their options some people don't think of these options for themselves or they don't really realize it's a possibility so had i known jake i would have i would have pushed him all these years but what i did is is there was another tailor who i went to for my wedding suit and i took you know i took a pair of rolitex jeans with me and they hung on to them for a bit uh and they made they made uh an, you know an amazing suit based on that and so you know i i was going to a mainstream uh you know um manufacturer and, and they were sorting it for me but this is useful stuff like people I, i'm always amazed at you know people don't know stuff and it, it's literally this is the value of these things is to share your solutions uh mm -hmm. and you know but also to share you know to, to because it also gives businesses a um uh, an idea like there's an awful lot of businesses who might do this kind of stuff or might even be doing it but they haven't thought to put it on their website and because it's not on their website how is anyone ever going to find them and and so part of it is educating uh mainstream you know fabricators as as well uh it's a it's a it's a really complicated piece where people think that it's so obvious but but you know marketing these things is getting people to know about these things is the difficulty and it's the difficulty we had with Rolitex is is um well they, they didn't they didn't market themselves digitally properly I, you know there are lots of people who don't know about Rolitex even though I'm a spinal injury I'm, I'm in this kind of forum in this area um and albeit that was a few years ago now uh but yeah content really really helps can I ask a really one-line question to Dan um, when is your fleece uh, wheelchair jack wheelchair jacket? Sorry, uh, Maria. When is your fleece coming back in stock? The large one. And Sam, you've got an order coming in the next couple of days. Fantastic. Thank you very much. So yeah, the the wheelchair fleece jacket um, is out of stock in the large at the moment. So it's uh, we're getting some more manufacturers, so um, they they should certainly be in over the next uh, week or so. Ah, before winter, that's okay. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Thank you. No, this was much needed. Thank you, everyone. Great, thank you. Yeah, hopefully that's helpful for everyone. We may do a, a follow-up in forward or something like that. We'll put lots of web links on there. Um, Guy mentioned about bespoke clothing and, and made-to-measure, so I'll put a link to Alexander's of London, um, which is a gentleman's tailors and also Kintsugi clothing. Um, which is not necessarily tailored clothing, but there's stuff there for the ladies. Um, I think Helen was, she had some products that she could have shown off, but she didn't join us today. So um, no joy on that one. Um, but we'll try and make all these available onto, we'll put this onto a YouTube channel, onto our YouTube channel, put all the links on there. Um, and we'll probably do a little follow-up feature in Forward Magazine so that we can include a little piece from everyone there. So thanks ever so much to everyone for taking part. We've overrun a little bit. Um, thanks for all the questions. And I think hopefully that's been really helpful for the manufacturers and we'll have you to get some feedback as well. So yeah, hopefully a bit of help for everyone there. Okay, thank you. Bye, folks.
And yeah. thanks for joining us. Take care. Next week we're back to a, a chat, aren't we, Lady Marie? Yeah. You can stop recording. Okay. Bye. Okay.